All right, come on in, hit the like button, and think about subscribing if you already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review through the 2023 thriller film called The Marsh's King's Daughter. And it is based on a, a best-selling novel. Here's the plot. A young mother must confront her long-buried past as the child of a kidnapper and the girl he held captive when her father breaks out of prison, convinced he intends to take her daughter. Uh, she sets out to find and kill him herself. Now here is some of the cast. This had one of the best handheld shooting I've seen in a while, along with the camera positions of each scene. And the camera movement was very intense. When she was a little girl and woke up, the, ca uh, the camera did the slow twisting up right in line with her setting up, uh, giving you that feel of dramatic shock when she, uh, how she felt at that moment. The little girl's performance that was that part was so captivating to watch her portray emotions. Easily one of the biggest highlights of the film. The score was this light synth orchestrated sound that gave you this creepy feel to it, but I wouldn't really call this a full-on thriller, more of an intense drama. With Ren Ben, sorry, Millis Jun, and I butchered that, uh, Ben being creepy but subtle about it to the point you know something is up with him while he seems warm and welcoming at the same time. Now here is my rating and I'll come back to my final thoughts. Now I don't understand the hate Daisy Ridley gets for her acting all these years. Then again I only saw a couple of her films. With her in it um and she's not a war wing but she's definitely not as bad as people portray out in my opinion this film was definitely a beautiful powerful film that i strongly suggest you check out and i didn't want to give too much away uh because i really, really like this it was again very powerful very beautiful especially as towards the end um it just it's 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 I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like shocking, but kind of romantic, but kind of dramatic. Dramatic. Um, you know, it's not like there's there's kind of some thriller to it, but it's like a really thin, slow thrill to it. So I, it it's kind of like that thriller, but with more dramatic type of of uh, creepiness to it. And I'll kind of admit the as good as the writing was the synth. Uh, powerful score uh, definitely kind of pushed it a little bit more than the story but not by much to be honest um, but I really really like this film I really had a fun time I was definitely sucked in pretty quickly and this never stopped so um, but uh, what are your thoughts either way leave them down below um, so that is all I have for you I'll keep you posted in the community section of if it's gonna be Sunday or Monday I'm gonna be putting something out um, keep a lookout, hit the bell icon. Um, but most importantly, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe and uh, spread the love most importantly. Skull.